Welcome to our first podcast from Daily Gamer with me, Joe Mango and James. Hello, James. What's up? Uh, we are joined in the studio today with our very special guest, Eric. Hey, Eric. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, I got it. So from Infinite 8 slash Land Rocker slash Speed Freaks, he does a lot of different things. He is essentially working for a gaming developing company, doing some really cool things. What's your title again? Uh, Chief Business Development Officer. Exactly. I couldn't remember that. It's a little bit long. Uh, but we're doing a topic, all right? Every week, we're going to do a different topic. And the topic this week is games that you kind of remember playing, like the first games you really got into when you were young. What what would be yours, Eric? So, I remember really, I played some kind of small games on the computer before, but when I really got into gaming was when uh, I got an N64. As little kids, my brother and I saved up any spare change we could find, mm. and eventually we saved up enough to buy an N64. And, you know, there we would play games like Mario Kart and uh, Super Smash Bros, stuff like that. Yeah. But the uh, the game that really kind of drew my attention was uh, was James Bond. So I knew you were going to say was that. It. Oh, man. I knew. I was thinking, I was like waiting as you were N64 and you're building up to it. I was like, he's going to say that, yeah. Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Yeah. Especially with the, the odd job. That was uh, oh. that was my character. So everything James Bond throughout the years, that's that was my bread and butter. Uh, another big one. I don't know if you guys ever played Time Splitters. Time Splitters Two. No. Oh, that was still, I think, to this day, one of the best co-op uh, games that I've ever played. Okay. So it was kind of uh, you would travel between different time periods, and you would always come in. It was a co-op game, so you'd, I, I was playing with my brother at the mm. time, and you would be teleported into this new time period. You'd have new characters, always different weapons, and just kind of go through this co-op uh, story. So that that was it for me. Time splitters. I, I, I was always into the kind of shooter games. That, that yeah. was my style. That was also a stand up arcade, wasn't it? Stand time splitters? Shooter. Oh, you, um, I don't know the name, the name of that one. Yeah, I know with the pedal and it's got. Yeah, and you guns. can just like. I think it's a different different title, but yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. I do not remember this one at all, but obviously I do remember Goldeneye. I mean, I have sure. two older brothers and I remember being quite young. I don't remember exactly how old and a couple of uncles who were around the same age as my older brothers. And I remember I used to beat them yeah. and it was the best feeling in the world because, you know, physically they could destroy me, <laughs> but you had playing Goldeneye, yeah, I had the edge. So that was pretty good. Have, I enjoyed that. Have you ever gone back recently and played like that Goldeneye N64? I haven't, but I swear last year they would, there, someone was petitioning about trying to remaster it and bring it back. Yeah, I don't know if they did or they're working on it. I, I know there's I a, a Hitman, you know Hitman? Yeah. So I think there's a Hitman style game coming out under that kind of character of uh, mm. 007. So ah. I, I don't know if there's too many details released Won't be about as it good yet, though. but... It's, it's, I mean, it's probably one of the all-time top games ever. Golden, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, pretty, it's pretty iconic. It's, it's weird, man. You go back to it now, and it was so magical when you're a kid. But when you look at the graphics today, now that we have such oh, kind of higher quality, yeah, like Unreal Larry, Five, yeah, horrible. it's crazy. But at that time, it was, it was the best. I you remember, I, I actually was... did a bit of news on it. I think about six months ago or something, and I was trying to find an image for the, for the news article. And I just couldn't find anything that was anywhere <laughs> near <usable. laughs> decent resolution. And I, I remember just going, I'm just going to have to post it. And it's going to look kind of, you know, grainy and bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, it, you know, I think everyone still would appreciate it. They'll go like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Like, we know that's, that's an exactly old game. exactly how we remember it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, James, go for you. What would be yours? Well, as the slightly older one here. <laughs> it's going to be something I've never heard of. <laughs> well... I did start gaming on the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, okay. The game that stood out for me was Duck Hunt. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, Duck had Hunt. the gun. Uh, I used to spend hours and hours and hours. Uh, the Nintendo did stand out a lot for me, but as I got into PC gaming at an early early age in my mm. life, um, MS-DOS games, that show my age. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Prince of Persia, platform games, you know, floppy disks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Floppy disks. <laughs> I don't think that. I ever played on a floppy disk game from what I remember. No. I used to... Uh, I played a game called Carmageddon. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> no. Pretty yeah. violent. I feel like I've heard of it, actually. <laughs> yeah. I Armageddon. shouldn't have been playing it. No, and you shouldn't <laughs> have been playing Wolfstein, either. Wolfstein. That's pretty bad, <laughs> yeah, no. James. Even Prince of Persia was quite... Really? But I used to go into, time. yeah, I used to, I used to take floppies into my dad's office. My dad would have uh, the internet. Yeah. <laughs> In there. What? Yeah. And uh, I used to download like extra 
like downloadable skins and things for Carmageddon. And no so way. I go back home. They had skins back then. Yeah, like the car skins. No way. And they were like selling them for an arm and a leg still. <laughs> well, they're free. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> How, maybe, uh, maybe they're NFTs. Now. It's how company, uh, companies like Eric's are getting you. They're making you pay for extra skins. Uh, you know what? Just when you were saying, um, you know, games that you probably shouldn't have been playing. I remember when I was younger, I was staying at my grandma's house for like eight months whilst we were moving. And my uncle who lived there had a uh, Max Payne on there. And I think I was about eight years old. I remember getting on the PC, playing Max Payne and just spending hours and hours and hours on it but what i would do is i'd wake up at like five in the morning go down and play it before anyone else woke up and then switch it off before they would get there so they didn't know that i was playing max Payne. but that was a that was an incredible game yeah that game was pretty brutal i think in that game like you would take drugs to heal yourself or go into slow-mo like it would get <laughs> yeah some yeah positive that's effects, true right? <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 the slow-mo was the best part yeah, of it yeah. though because you would literally be able to slow mo and then just like shoot people through the air while you're slow mo. I mean, I guess they kind of still do that now, like Red Dead Redemption and stuff. Yeah. You can kind of slow mo. Yeah. Wasn't kind of the same as Max Payne, but still, obviously, Red Dead Redemption is an amazing game. Um, but I think going back like even earlier, the first games I remember playing, number one, um, again, this is another story about me beating my older brothers. I remember we had a PlayStation 1. And my brothers had saved up and they got a PlayStation 1. And the only game they had was Tony Hawk Pro mm -hmm. Skater 1. And um, and I remember it was like up high on the TV on this tiny little box TV. that was probably like maybe 15 inches or something like that. Like tiny, tiny PC. Uh, sorry, a monitor. I remember kind of sitting there and just learning how to play Tony Hawk. They eventually came back and they were like, wait, how do you do that trick? Oh, and how do you ollie? And how do you? And then they just instantly took it off me and started playing it. And uh, I remember that was quite a sad day because I was really getting into it. But again, I was definitely better than them. Okay, so you taught them a few tricks, eh? Exactly. <laughs> and then I think Pokemon. Pokemon, for sure. It's got to be the Pokemon. Game Boy. Or Game classic. Boy. On the Pokemon classic Red, Game Boy. Pokemon Blue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I started on Pokemon Red. Uh, I was a blue kid. Someone actually gave me their old red one. It was like a friend of the family or something. Oh, here, I'm not playing it anymore. Here, you play it. I remember getting it. And at the time, I didn't realize how good his account was. He had like Mewtwo and Mew and Snorlax and like all these amazing Pokemon. And I was like, oh, new game. And back then, you couldn't you couldn't just have more than one game, right? There's so no recovering I remember starting a new game and playing it. And then going, uh, as I kind of learned the game, I was like, why didn't I just keep this guy's account? But I guess it kind of ruins the fun if you've yeah, already completed the game. Though. But uh, But yeah, I would say Pokemon was a big one. And then as I got a bit older, I did sink a lot of time into RuneScape. Mm. I played some RuneScape too. I think like the first time I played was maybe 11, 12 years old. Mm. I think I still have some friends to this day who are still playing like the, the old school. I think they re-released the old school RuneScape. They're still updating it though. Yeah, yeah. Like we were talking about it earlier. They've got graphical updates. Yeah, I doing think it had it. like a fork. So there's a totally different graphical one right now. And then there's the, I think like 2007 version. which is Yeah. Like yeah, they bought out like classic. RuneScape 2, didn't they? It was like, it was, I think they actually called yeah, yeah. it RuneScape 2. Uh, I mean, I haven't played it in a long time, but um, I do remember like scamming people on that. Oh, oh I... give me that and I'll give you this. And then I take that and run away. <laughs> scans. Did you guys ever play the, the flower game in, uh, in RuneScape? No. I think they banned it now, but there were like these seeds where you could plant it in the ground and it either comes up as like red, orange, yellow flowers or blue, purple, white flowers. Okay. And so someone would give you some money and they would say hot or cold. And then if it comes up the, the red, that's hot. If it comes up the blue type flowers, ah. that's cool. The thing is, so you're supposed to double the money and give it back to right mm -hmm. again if, uh, if they lose. But you just have a bunch of teleport tabs or something. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> quickly hit one. So, oh man, I think I got up to like over a billion gold way, way really? back. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no, I just had my uh, my adamant she uh, skirt. I had an adamant skirt. Someone stole that. And then I was, uh, I never trusted anyone again in that game. Oh, man. No one like you. It's probably you that stole my skirt. <laughs> Maybe. Come Maybe. On, no, I, I didn't go that low. I any other least, any least, other games? Uh, uh, I remember. I mean, you started getting into first-person shooters. Really, I was a PC PC guy, so mm. you can Quake. Oh um, yeah, Quake. Quake two, Quake three, Quake. <laughs> quake four. All the quakes. All the quakes. Yeah. But it's I've funny because now, like, I'm going back into, you know, revisiting these games, and you can do that so easily now. Yeah. And. There's websites that have all of them yeah, and for the, free. On the Switch Lite at the moment, I'm playing through the original Quake. Oh, it, yeah. it runs really well on it. 
I recommend. I recommend it. Okay. Bring so much back. I'll give Is it a go. Play, uh, Perfect Dark. Yeah. No. It's a game. I think maybe I'll also answer. Was it scary? No, no, no. no. Okay. It was, uh, Sounds similar scary. vein to Goldeneye. It was kind of like a oh, okay. yeah, sh shooter Same. game. You're uh, some agent kind of. Uh, mm. I was mainly a PlayStation guy from a young age. So, yeah, I didn't really get to do much of that stuff, unfortunately. I, d I did play one of the really early Halos, and I can't remember which what it would have been on what console. Maybe, like, the first Xbox. Yeah, but I remember playing that, and that was that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I played the shit out of the Halos up until, I think, Halo 3. After that, it kind of fell off for me. Have you played the new one? Uh, what is the new one? Halo oh, Infinite. Infinite. Yeah, I played just the multiplayer. Because mm. it's free to play now. You can uh, you can download it on Steam. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, I played maybe, I don't know, five hours or something of the multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get too into it. It is good fun, but I feel like nowadays the way shooting mechanics and dying mechanics work are a lot different. And Halo kind of didn't change with that. They kept their original kind of thing. Yeah, that which, like long time to kill, more... Yeah. Yeah, the shield thing. Lots yeah. of shield and lots of like jumping around and it does take a little bit longer and da 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 da. Which I think is good because they're kind of sticking to their roots and that's the game that people loved and people want to keep playing that but maybe just better graphics and, you know, updated stuff. Um, but at the same time, I got a bit bored playing it because I'm like, he's not dying quick enough and then I'm dying from some random dude with a baseball bat and yeah. It wasn't for me, but I did start playing Splitgate. Have you played okay, that? Yeah, that's like a mix of Portal and Halo, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, it's Portal and Halo, and uh, that's really fun. Because it's like Halo on steroids. You're going through like portals, and you've got sort of the same gun mechanics as Halo, and yeah, I found that more enjoyable than uh, Halo Infinite, unfortunately. But Yeah, I gotta jump in and play a little bit more of that. Nowadays, I think like Battle Royale is the kind of big category. Everyone mm. likes the quick kill times, Battle Royale. You start the game with nothing and you got to kind of pick up your loot. So then you you end up having a kind of different experience every round. It makes it a little bit more exciting. Oh, yeah, for sure. And because the maps are so big, you're not kind of getting bored with it. Because, yeah, like you said, it is a completely different game every single time you play it. Even a few years ago when uh, it was all about Counter-Strike for me. yeah. yeah. As competitive gaming goes, I got heavy into that as yeah. a teenager, and that's that's different now. Even even now, where there's different modes, there's hundreds of different ways to play it now. Um, they still have the original the original way of playing. But, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's Valorant, which is kind of like reskinned, modernized exactly, with superpowers. Yeah. Exactly. Abilities. Which I've realized recently, I'm quite bad at. I I've tried getting good at it. You know, I've been practicing at it, and I've actually been playing League of Legends recently because I've just been like. I'm not good enough for Valorant. These FPSs and these kids just smashing me. Yeah. I can't do it. Too old now. Too old. For that. Too old. My eyes don't work <laughs> properly. <I'm> slow. <laughs> that was one game I never got into. I've never played uh, League of Legends once, which is crazy. But uh, the MOBA style, I don't know. It's just. Well, I played a lot of World of Warcraft. Okay. And World of Warcraft is a lot of running around, you know, doing your spells and casting stuff, and you've got like an army. Oh, in in World of Warcraft, the amount of spells you have per character is like just insane. Um, but I played a lot of that, so I feel like I was quite good at that. So I started playing League of Legends and realized I'm actually not too bad at this game, considering to, uh, how bad I was at Valorant. Uh, so yeah, I kind of I kind of enjoy that more because I feel like I'm slightly better at it. Yeah.